Ghana is set to be one of the first recipients of funding from a G7 initiative to provide funding to countries suffering climate disasters. The Global Shield, which was announced on Monday at the COP27 summit, is aimed at providing money for vulnerable nations to deliver new protection plans for disasters. That includes rapid access to insurance, as well as disaster protection funding after floods or drought. The Global Shield has been coordinated by G7 President Germany and was developed in collaboration with the V20 Group of Climate Vulnerable Economies. Countries including Senegal, Bangladesh, Pakistan and the Philippines are also amongst the initial recipients of the packages, which will be developed in the coming months, Germany said in a statement on Monday. Henry Kwabenga Kokofu is Ghana's special envoy of the Climate Vulnerable Forum. There must be a prearranged finance, the evolution of climate risk insurance and the doubling of adaptation. And we deem this to be critical to deliver a shield of financial protection that supports our climate prosperity trajectory. Our approach towards the allocation of resources creates the impression that the climate crisis is a random event that takes place in a remote location. And yet the very real issues of fiscal destruction, economic destruction, social unrest, political the stability and large refugee movements towards the global north is an indication that climate change is truly a global problem. The shield is made up of three funds, which will be used to help ensure cash makes its way to the governments of affected countries within several days. That's opposed to the many months that are normal with more traditional funding routes. Yet, the initial contributions fall short of the sums called for by poorer countries. While it is expected that more money will be added over time, the shield is unlikely to dampen calls for a broader deal on loss and damages at COP27. With the second week of talks at the climate conference underway, the Global Shield is one of several attempts by richer countries to give more help, but without being forced to accept liability for climate-induced damages.